Hi, and welcome back to Jet Admin University. Today I'm going to show you how you can add an approval task queue to your app. So what is an approval task queue? Well, this is a feature that will be useful if you have certain operations that need approval from above. For example, one of your team members might submit a refund request, but that needs to be approved by a manager. The manager will then be able to approve or reject that request. In this demo, I'm going to use our refund tool template. So if you want to follow along and try the same thing, you can just log on to JIT, scroll down to templates and click on refund tool. If you look at the card on the right hand side with the customer info, you'll see a button that says payment details. I'm going to click on this and then a modal will open, which then gives me the option to make a refund. I'll click on the make a refund button. And now I have my refund form. This is what I want to connect to my approval task queue. So I will click on the form. If you are having trouble with that and have clicked on one of the fields, you can simply click parent above the, the field name and you'll be able to get to the form. And then once I have the form menu open, I will click on the actions tab at the top of the menu. If I scroll down to the bottom of the actions menu, I will see a button that says approval. I click on this and I see all of my configuration options. The first thing to do is to set up our task queue or choose one if you already have one. I'll click on the task queue drop down menu. And because I don't have any task queues yet, I will click on add new. Now I need to configure my task queue. That is give it a name, adjust the statuses and adjust the inputs. I'll call mine refund task queue. Now I'm going to move on to statuses. They currently say new in progress and completed. And I want to change those to say new, uh, approved and rejected. For approved, I'm going to choose completed so that the action goes through. And for rejected, I'm going to uh, choose new so that it does not. The next thing I want to add are my inputs, which will be refund reason and refund amount. Okay. So now we're back in the actions menu um, at the bottom in the approval section. There are a couple things to do here. The first thing is to give this task a name. Uh, I'm going to use the concatenate function so that I can give it a name that says refund number and then has the number of the order. And I'll just do that here. Uh, and then I need to choose the beginning status, which will be new. I need to choose the person who I am assigning it to, assigning it to for approval. Um, I'm going to choose myself because I'm, I'm the only user here, but you would choose whomever you want to give approval. And then I need to adjust the status when approved to approved and similarly, uh, status when rejected to rejected. And then I need to move on to specifying inputs here. I am going to use a formula to select the inputs that were used in the refund form. I can find them here. They're listed on in refund modal as refund reason and uh, refund amount. Great. So this looks good. My refund form is now connected to an approval task queue. So if I submit a refund request, it will first go for approval. Let's take a look at how that works. So I'll just open up my app and I'll select an order, go over to payment details and then click on make a refund. Uh, I'll enter a refund reason and amount and submit it. And great. It has been submitted for approval. Great. So where are those approvals? Where is that task queue? If I go back to my app builder on the left hand side, there is a tab for collaborations. I just hover over that and I will see a list of my task queues. I only have the one in this case, but I will click on that to go to it. Here, I can see that there has been a refund request submitted and I have the ability to approve it or reject it immediately from this page by clicking on these buttons and entering a reason in this modal that pops up, or I can select that request and have a little bit more details, have the ability to write to the person who submitted it, or again, just uh, approve it or reject it. Great. So that's how you make an approval task queue in jet admin. Uh, if you do have any more questions, take a look at the description below. I have included links to our documentation and to an article about this same topic. Uh, thanks for joining me today. And I hope to see you next time on Jet Admin University.